Hello children, myself Divya Sharma from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. I hope you all are doing well at your home. Now children, let's start with chapter number 21, Homophones. First we look into the definition of homophones. What are homophones? Homophones are words which sound the same but differ in spelling and meaning. Means that these are the words which have the same sound but their spelling and meaning is different. Now let's uh, look into some examples. For example, break and break. Now this break is used to separate parts okay and over here this break is used as a part of a vehicle. So the sound of these two words is same but as you can see the spelling of both these words and the meaning is different. Second example is right and right. This right over here means correct, okay? And W-R-I-T-E means when you write with pen or pencil. So both of these words have the same sound, but as you can see, the spelling and the meaning of these two words is different. So these are called homophones. Now, I'll discuss some examples from the book. Question number A, if you see in your book, question number A. Fill in the blanks with correct words from the brackets. Here you have been given the blanks and you have been given the words in the bracket. You have to choose the correct word. I'll discuss the second example with you. Ravi wants to dash a pencil. You have been given B Y E by or B U Y by. So which one will be the correct? The correct answer will be B U Y. Ravi wants to buy a pencil here. This buy over here means to purchase. Okay, and B Y E means when you see off someone. Okay, now I'll discuss the fourth one. They have gone back to dash house. T H E I R or T H E R E. Over here, the correct one will be. T H E I R. Now, why? Because T H E I R means uh, belonging to someone. So it is their house. And T H E R E is used to show place. So this is the difference. Okay, now we'll discuss question number B. Choose the correct words from those given in brackets. First one when I was in class. One or one, I one or one a prize. Now over here you can see the sound of both these words is same, but the spelling and meaning is different. So when I was in class, class you are saying so it will be one. I won a prize. Okay. Now we'll see second example. That is fourth one, the wind, B-L-E-W, blue or blue, the blue or blue kite up towards the sky. Over here, this blue is the past tense of blow and this blue is the color. So the correct answer will be, first it will be the wind, blue and then the blue kite. Over here, it shows the color of the kite. Fine. Now, I'll discuss question number C. Children, for uh, rest of the parts, you can refer the PDF when it will be sent to you. Do it yourself. Now, we'll discuss the C one. Write words that are pronounced in the same way as the ones given below, but are spelt differently. It's the same. So, first I'll discuss this weight and weight. Now, question number C. Second one I'll discuss. You have to give the correct word. Now, this is weight. It will be similar to 
weight. So these two are again homophones. Okay, this weight refers to your health weight and this weight when you are waiting for someone. Now it will be seventh one I'll discuss with you. It's gait and gait. So over here this gait means it's a manner of walking. Okay, this gait uh, refers to the manner of how do you walk and this gait uh, refers to your main door gate or your doors okay so th these two words over here same sound but the spelling and the meaning different now we'll discuss question number E you have to use the given words to fill in the blanks correctly you have been given the words over here in the grid okay then you have to choose the correct blank See, you have been given the words in the grid and you have to choose the correct word and fill in the blank. So I'll discuss with you first and second. The rose is a beautiful. Now over here we know that rose is a flower. So the correct word over here will be flower. That is F-L-O-W-E-R. And second, the baker ordered two bags of flour for the bakery. Okay. So, the first one will be flour and the second one will be flour. The sound is the same but over here the meaning and the spelling is different. Now, uh, we'll take fifth one. The puppies have grown into strong dogs. Over here, G-R-O-W-N shows growth of something. Grown into a strong dogs. The wounded man let out a groan. It's a sound uh, which comes when you are in pain. So, fifth one will be, the puppies have grown. And sixth one will be, the wounded man let out a groan. So with these examples you saw that these words have the same sound but the spelling and the meaning is different. That is what we call homophones. Okay, rest of the blanks you try out yourself and you can check from the PDF which will be sent to you. Thank you.